lightweight, they're glossy, and they pack quite a wallop. They're the Samsung Galaxy S4 and the brand new LG G2, and we'll take a quick look at how they compare on the show floor here in New York City. I'm Michael Fisher with Adam Lane behind the camera. This is Pocket Now. Let's get to it. If you own a Galaxy S4 from Samsung, admit it, you're at least a little curious about how it stacks up against the LG G2, announced just this morning in New York City. We'll have an actual comparison video when we get a hold of a review unit, but in the meantime, we have a few quick impressions from the show floor. First and foremost, these devices are quite similar, physically speaking. The G2 edges out the S4 in terms of screen size, 5.2 inches to 5 inches, and the G2 packs an IPS in place of the S4's AMOLED, but they're both 1080p, and the color on the G2's display is pretty incredible in person. The tenth of an inch thin bezels on LG's phone also make it quite pleasant to handle. Both devices are exceptionally light and glossy, with the exception of the rear-mounted volume rocker and power button on the G2, aesthetically they're so similar that non-geeks might even get them confused. Internally there's quite a different story. The Snapdragon 800 inside the G2 is a global first, outpacing the Snapdragon 600 inside the S4. The two gigs of RAM are the same, but the storage and battery aren't. LG's is bigger at 3000 milliamp hours, but it's also non-removable, unlike the S4's 2600 milliamp hour unit. There's also no expansion slot on the G2, with available models only reaching up to 32 gigs of onboard storage. Finally, the cameras are both 13 megapixels, but here the G2 has an edge. Only LG's phone packs the optical image stabilization, the new must-have for smartphone cameras, and a big help for low-light performance. Again, folks, we're going to have a whole lot more on the relationship between these devices in the weeks ahead, but for now, we hope the spec comparison from the New York launch event has helped. This has been Michael Fisher with Adam Lane behind the camera for Pocket Now. Stay tuned for more.